another edition of Songwriters in the Round. My name is Julie Doherty, and I'm so, so honored and happy to have Noel Paul Stuckey with us today. He's a wonderful singer and songwriter and guitar player and musician, and also a third of probably the most beloved folk trio in history, <laughs> Peter, Paul, and Mary. It's so wonderful to have you Thank here. Thank you. It's wonderful to be here. Thanks for wonderful coming to, to our lovely city to do this show with us. It's wonderful to be a third of the longest, one of the longest lived folk groups. I, you know, as I look over 37 or 38 years oh of us being God. together, I'm thinking even with seven years off, we've been together longer than most groups Isn't have. That yeah. something? Yeah. And on so many wonderful songs that you've written and you've sung and so many good causes that you've championed through the years. Well, you inherit that, as you well know. Those of us who play uh, these instruments that uh, are probably referred to, even though you're plugged in over there. Sorry. <laughs> Woody. Sorry. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> but these acoustic instruments, uh, folk music carries with it a tradition, you know, kind of an invitation to actually participate in the lyrics, mm. so you get to live them out. Also, the fact that you all still sing out of one microphone and really get... Oh, no, we don't. You don't? Oh, no. Now, that's a tradition no. that... You, know, you don't <laughs> see that anymore, but that's wonderful because the power involved in that, you yeah. really together... We did, we did a live performance just last night at Benefit in New York City for Mark Green, and uh, to sing live with no microphones is great. Oh, my God. But, no, we work with three microphones. We still try to reach for the blend, though. You know, when you and I were practicing earlier... I kept leaning in. Yes. You know, well, yes. Let me hear, I want to hear the little buzz on the voices. Right. That's what happens when you sing in a group, right, of course. Right. Now, I read in your biography that you started off as a stand-up comic. Is that true? Well, uh, have you ever been nervous and had to come up with a line real fast to make yourself feel better? Well, that's, you know, most people thought I was a comic, but actually I was just really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and I was nervous for about 17, 18 ah, years, ooh. you know. So I developed quite a repertoire. Mm. I, I, yeah, I have a... I have a love of sound effects, and I have uh, a real enjoyment mm -hmm. of uh, the humor of life, mm -hmm. particularly when we get ourselves all puffed up, mm -hmm. you know, and then mm -hmm. somebody comes along with a pin or the kid says, mm -hmm. hey, the emperor's not wearing any clothes. I love that kind <laughs> of humor. <laughs> so I, d I do a lot of self-deprecating stories mm -hmm. on myself, you know. Yeah. And well, it, you know, that wonderful joy of life really does come through your songs, and maybe can we hear one? I'd love to hear one. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. <laughs> yeah, I bet we've even programmed which one it is. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, I, w I was asked to do a, uh, a commencement exercise in Blue Hill, where, uh, up in Maine, where uh, my wife and I and our family have been living for uh, over 25 years. Mm. And I really wanted to give the kids a sense of their uniqueness as well as their community, and I thought, well, what's, what's the metaphor for that? And I realized that the facets of a jewel are like that, because each facet is a slightly different angle, which, mm -hmm. believe me, we are all slightly different angles here. <laughs> <laughs> right. and, and yet, we make up this beautiful yeah. thing called a jewel. And if any of us in any way are blemished, then the whole jewel is diminished. You know, it's, so it kind of spoke of the mm -hmm. togetherness of all of us. Mm, it's a beautiful so, uh, assuming we're still in tune, close. the temperature seems to be holding. Okay, and it starts off like this, and you'll come in where you want to. Mm -hmm. Two, three, yeah. of a jewel, the reluctance of a wise man, or the wisdom of a fool. They border on each other, sometimes kind, sometimes cruel. Yes, and our lives are connected. Like patches on a quilt Sewn by coincidence Some borders edged in guilt Though every choice we make Creates a different pattern Still our lives are Like pages 
is the present through which the future looks Like leaves on a river or like ripples in a brook Our lives are are connected. Yeah, they sure are. Even though we've not met each other prior to the making of I this. Know, I, I feel feel like like I know. I feel like I know. Well, we've been emailing and, <laughs> and chatting yeah, and communicating. It's not email. No. It's, not email. Yeah. it's the music. Yeah, it, it really, really is. It's the music and the caring underneath the music. Mm -hmm. I don't think this music can sustain in a community unless it's got a lot of heart, you know, because I just don't think people care to keep it alive unless it connects with them. Somehow. Yeah, it does. You know, it's funny because we play out a lot in the area and it seemed that there was a real scary period of time where uh, disco came in and, <laughs> and the box music came in and I was really frightened that there uh, was no no yeah. place to make a living anymore and it it seems gradually to be coming back. Yeah. Well you know we got hurt as a people I think in this country by the three assassinations in the 60s and though maybe some of us weren't alive then I think it really was a ripple effect mm -hmm. and for a long time people just weren't willing to be vulnerable, mm -hmm. willing to take a chance, willing to stand you know mm -hmm. for, and uh, I, frankly, a lot of the music community just splintered, and people just wanted to forget. So music became entertainment, mm -hmm. just strictly entertainment. Right. You know? And uh, we found, uh, you know, singing during those years, it was tough to get people to listen. You know, anything more than, ooh, baby, ooh, baby, yeah. wah, 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 ooh, baby, ooh, baby, wah, wah, <laughs> wah, ooh, baby, ooh, baby, I mean, that's, you know. <laughs> well, you know, I have to tell you that I was at the Hollywood Bowl, my sister and I, in 1978, when you had your reunion. Oh, wow. Um, that was wonderful. But my sister and I were out visiting Mike Suttle and um, Alex from um, the Limelighters, and wow. uh, we were backstage, actually, we met you, and we met George Carlin, and uh, oh, that it was, was a wonderful concert. Oh, that was a great concert by Carlin, I remember. He said, world peace through Nerf bullets. <laughs> remember? <laughs> 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 yeah. But it's wonderful that the three of you, um, you all have your own careers and your own music outlets um, yeah. that you pursue, but then you still get together and, and still yeah, make we that do, We do 45 shows a year, and if public television you know, were any example, they, people would think we live in the same town together. You know, I mean, we do a lot during fundraising times. Yeah. So. But yeah, we, I think we've learned the lesson that all good relationships learn, and is that we have something valuable to bring to one another, mm -hmm. so we have to give each other space to go out and learn it. Sure. <laughs> you know, otherwise. That's right. So right. we do. We have a lot of individual freedom mm -hmm. and a lot of respect and uh, affection. But, but for you one sing another. as one as one unit. Yeah, and we it's do a that. Wonderful. We have to believe in what we're singing. Yeah. But yeah. when we do, yeah. we're, we lock in. Yes, you do. Yeah. Let's hear another song. <laughs> I want another song. Is this going to be the? This is the fun song. Is yes, this, this is, is the. the fun. Uh, Stand up and tell us how you feel There are no secrets to conceal anymore You can open that door and be real Ooh, be true You know exactly what to do Listen to that voice inside of you getting stronger Won't be much longer, be true Be free <laughs> Take this perfect opportunity Open every door, you got the key in your heart It's a good place to start being free 
Here come that crazy bridge now. You. I, I ask other songwriters this because this is a songwriting show. Do you have a formula that you use to get I'm those ideas much, out? Or? I'm pretty much reactive. Uh, mm. I'm also uh, a product, uh, I'm, an, I'm an only child and a little bit tongue tied from time to time. And I, I'm sure that there are times in your lives when you've really felt like you wanted to say something and you just couldn't. So you turn to songwriting or yeah. you turn to making a piece of music and suddenly the arc, you know, that. that that triumphant opportunity to really say it in poetic form, to carve it someplace, to, to make that musical trajectory, mm -hmm. and you just go, there, you know? And, and then it's like, it's like birthing something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I really don't write as, a, I'm, 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 I'm really not a professional writer, even though I've, I must have written 300 songs, mm. most always there because I felt that there was really something that had to be addressed, mm. you know, something that had to be said. And the only way it was going to get said was if I said it. Mm. Mm. And you've written one of the most popular and wonderful songs that mm. when people join um, their lives together and take their vows that oh, usually yeah. you hear Noel Paul Stuckey's wedding song being yeah. sung. What a wonderful tribute to your mm. talent. And well, that was really, yeah. I, I think that was really a song written out of obedience. You know, Peter came and asked me to write a song for his wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. And, uh, but, but he didn't put it that way. He said, uh, I want you to write a song to bless our wedding. Oh. And I'm thinking, geez, I don't have the credentials to do that, you know. I felt, but I felt like the guy in the Woody Allen film, you know, the hands the bank teller the note that says, I don't have a gun, but I know where I can get one. <laughs> 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 so I didn't have a blessing, but I knew where I could get one. Yeah. So I prayed for the for the song, and it just was so you know the lyric. I am now to be among you at the calling of your hearts. Rest mm -hmm. assured, this troubadour, this bozo, mm -hmm. is acting on my part, you know. And it just unfolded like that. Yeah, that's why um, uh, that's why the proceeds that come from the wedding song go to the Public Domain Foundation. And tell us a little bit about the Public Domain Foundation. Well, my daughter has just taken over the administration of it. I, I haphazardly administered it for, uh, you know, the 30 years of its life. It was written in 71. I guess it's not quite 30 years. And um, the monies have gone, you know, almost $2 million now have been distributed uh, to charities throughout the oh, globe, so mostly, in, mostly in the United States. And uh, it just got to be a little bit much for me. And uh, now Liz is taking it over and directing it particularly to uh, families who are seeking self-sufficiency. And uh, maybe we'll talk a little bit Isn't about it at the end of yeah. the Yeah, It's nice show. to do so, something so good with, with your talent. Well, it's also, you know, putting the song back where I got it, yeah. in a sense, you know. It's a nice way to look Laying it at the feet. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my banjo on, but... <laughs> bit of 
of tuning here. I think this is, by the way, I got to tell you, I think the banjo on this song oh, is thank just, you. It just I wasn't takes really it to sure. such a wonderful place. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, well, you know, again, accessibility is such an important thing in music. And uh, you sometimes can make things pretty, but you put a wall up between you and the listener. And I just think of banjos. Big hug. It's a happy instrument. <laughs> it's a happy instrument. <laughs> happy, <feet>. happy, happy. <laughs> yeah, we pretty close. I think so. Okay. I'm now to be among you at the calling of your heart. Rest assured, this troubadour is acting on my part. The union of your spirits here has caused me to remain. For oh, whenever two or more of you are gathered in my name, there am I. There is love Well, a man shall leave his mother And the woman leave her home They shall travel on to where Two shall be as one As it was in the beginning Is now and till the end Woman draws her life from man and gives it back again, and there is love. That's a nice, hey. nice high line coming. Mm. Are you? Um, I know that you have some solo recordings out. Are you? Are you in the process <laughs> of doing a, a new recording? Only if you're a collector, dear, and mm. you go shorting through the bin. <laughs> no, I don't have any solo stuff. Out. I'm a. You know, DVDs are coming with 17 meg of storage space or whatever. Yeah. So memoirs, the idea of the old grizzled guy sitting down doing his memoirs is taking on a whole new tonality. <laughs> <laughs> I may sit down with a computer and my wave files and pull together all the mm. stuff that I've done over the So you're not thinking years. about doing a solo album? Or? Not really. I'm, I'm busy enough now, frankly. Yeah. My wife has just taken uh, a chaplaincy at Northfield Mount Hermon School in Western Massachusetts. Oh, and uh, So meet the new organ monkey. <laughs> I'm, the, oh. I'm the guy who uh, you know, provides the music oh. on... Uh, oh, nice. On Sundays, it is great, and it's really challenging. As a matter of fact, the tune I wanted to do that was so bullish to do for you guys, uh, "Love Rules," is uh, was written because my wife 
you know, it's a very ecumenical circumstance mm -hmm. in, in prep school. It's 14 through 18. Now, let's face it. Your kids have just, I mean, your parents have just dropped you off, right? You're on your own for the first time. Would you want to go to chapel every Sunday <laughs> if it wasn't required? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so the idea is, well, what's, you know, let's, let's make a, a mix. Uh, let's make an environment. Let's, let's. Let's provide an opportunity mm. for the kids to have a really encouraging debate about the things, the matters of the heart, mm -hmm. without being embarrassed, you mm -hmm. know. And, um, and I think my wife is doing a wonderful job of encouraging. And in the context of encouraging it, I came to ask myself, well, what, what is a commonality? What's a word, maybe? What's a phrase, maybe, that we could all understand that would, we could have our own take of, but when we put it out in the middle, it's amazingly similar, mm -hmm. you know. And love is the word, mm -hmm. uh, just like the Beatles said, what, mm -hmm. 30 years ago, you know? And I bet providing music on that level every Sunday at those chapel, mm. um, at the services, really draws in those kids at that age, too. Well, it's beginning to. Yeah. It's, a, it's a really an uphill yeah. climb because uh, it has so many uh, authoritarian, uh, you know, rules and regs that come along with it, mm. and that's... We're, doing our best mm -hmm. to make them understand that it's a community, mm. you know, it's really an opportunity to come together, give thanks for the wonderful mm -hmm. gift we've been given called life, mm -hmm. you know, and then to talk about those, if, those matters of the heart you know, that have a commonality. Mm -hmm. So, I hear we're going to do that song. too? Yes, yes. Well, not only are you going to hear it, you're going to sing on yes, it. Yes, I am. And if I can find a, a flat pick, and if Steve's done his work <laughs> off camera, <laughs> this thing is in tune. Oh, it's closed. <laughs> well, it's closed. It says a modest. Can't guarantee it. The anything. modest mandolin player. Oh, yeah, pretty that good. sounds pretty good. All right, you ready to do this? Yeah. Okay, let's play this young tune, okay? <laughs> Travel at the speed of light You don't need to be a scientist to know that's right Love's with us here tonight Love rules You might be young, you could be old Everybody needs a hand to hold And somehow we know before we're told Love rules Love's a beggar but not a thief Steals no hearts Brings no grief Just waits patiently For belief Love has many hearts and hands And the ones who seem to understand Are taking steps Not making plans but just like them, I'm trying to be a student of transparency More of love and less of me Love Every time I turn away From what love has to say Stars explode and the suns come shine, but love will watch the end of time. Love rules. And when we're gone and in our graves, buried by the things we've saved, love will remember what we gave. Love rules. Ah, love is gentle, 
love is kind Love forgives but it is not blind Love is what we were born to That was a song. good one. That was a great <laughs> lick at the you end. You know, that part is on being a bit of a rock song, I have to say. <gasps> my goodness, you mean my roots are showing. <laughs> <laughs> I was really into rhythm and blues when I was in high school. Were you? Oh, yeah. I went to the black record store, the Afro-American record store. I mean, it was called Black there in, uh, in Pontiac, Michigan, and would scour the bins looking for group songs. I just love mm. it. So that harmony thing that you're so good at, is that, that's a natural ability on your part. Is it something that you studied and, and, and you got First time I remember singing harmony was uh, harmonize, when, when my dad let me have the melody. We were you know, singing along with some song on the radio and he sang harmony and, you, and the first time you hear that buzz, I just, I cracked up. I did, do it again, do it again, daddy, do it again. <laughs> I must have, I can't remember, at nine years old, maybe right. eight years old or something. Cool. Do it again, do it again. Were your parents both musical? Uh, comfortable with it. Yeah. You know, none, I mean, my dad played in a high school band, and, but th they, they could both sing, they could both carry mm -hmm. a tune. Mm -hmm. Yeah, music's really, I, I always thought I was going to be a painter or an artist when I grew up, and I still like, you know, I get involved in web graphics and stuff like that, because mm -hmm. I'm, like you mm -hmm. mentioned, mm -hmm. I'm, uh, I'm computer literate. But you knew literate. you were going to do something creative, you weren't? going to become a lawyer. I guess so. No, I, I, well, I was, I'm happy with numbers. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a sales manager or a uh, production manager for a chemical company in New York when I first went there. I used to work in a, sa in a camera shop all the time. Oh, no kidding. How I first made my living. But yeah, ever since I put together my first circus at the age of 11 in Dorsey, Maryland, you know, put <laughs> the family cat underneath an orange crate and dragged it down the main street, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you could say I knew I was going to be yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's been wonderful having you on. It's oh, Julie, so it's been fun. so nice. It's Thanks so nice so to much meet you and sing with you. And uh, actually, um, we're going to end off with a, a song that I wrote. And actually, we, we've kind of co-written this. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I leaned on you? <laughs> <laughs> but I like the changes. And, uh, we're going to sing this together. Good. Um, well, I'm going to look down at the floor from time so to time and try to get a lyric. <laughs> okay. But thank you again for oh, being on our show. You betcha. And, um, you betcha. We wish you all the best. We gotta do, we gotta do this. I'm gonna drag the microphone over here. <laughs> Good playing with you, Woody. <laughs> nice playing with you at home. <laughs> this is a song called When Will We Learn. Yeah, I love this thing when I first heard it. Sister, brother, our 
children's future depends on us all. Well, it's time to give thanks for the gift we've been given and reclaim the earth. Oh, the sky and the sea Let the power of love Encircle the planet Let it shine through you Let it shine through me Whoa. And when, when will we learn Love one another When will we learn Tear down these walls Reach out a hand To sister, brother Our children's future Depends on our souls Amen and amen and amen. One, two, three.